So whilst you're using SmartShift, there might be times where you notice an error or a, specifically a communications error in the Amber app. And there's a lot of different things that could be causing this. Some of them are things that Amber can help resolve for you. Some of them are not related to us at all and might be related to the hardware of the device or even bigger system outages. So we're gonna run through a few different troubleshooting steps to help figure out what the problem actually is with the goal of trying to get you back up on your feet operating as quickly as possible. Hi, my name is Michael, I'm from Amber and I'm part of the SmartShift team here. So I spend all of my days assisting all of our customers with SmartShift inquiries and helping make sure it all runs efficiently. So if you notice an error in the Amber app especially, what should you do first? First thing you should definitely check is the different app or the different monitoring platform that comes with your battery or your inverter system. So check the manufacturer's app, whether that's your Tesla app or your SolarEdge app or whatever it is. If this is showing up as offline or with any other issues, then that means SmartShift isn't gonna be getting any data at all and won't be able to communicate with your system. If you've checked that and that's all looking good, we definitely recommend having a look at the known issues tracker. We keep an up-to-date list on our website of any issues that we know about that are affecting multiple sites per different manufacturer so that you can see if there's one that might be affecting your site. If you're still seeing communication error or if SmartShift doesn't seem to be getting your inverter to change its behavior, then you wanna check for a firmware update with your manufacturer to see if that can improve the connection and the performance. To check for a firmware update, it's usually done through the manufacturer's specific app or monitoring platform. We've got instructions on how to find those for each manufacturer on our website as well. If you've done all of those three things and still can't figure it out and answer from there, we definitely recommend you reach out to the installer who installed your system because they're definitely gonna be a great point of contact to help troubleshoot hardware specific issues and especially hardware and internet connectivity issues. So they're a great resource to reach out to. Also, you can reach out directly to the manufacturer of your system. Reach out to Tesla themselves, SolarEdge. All of them have a really great customer service team, so they're available to help you troubleshoot issues specifically to their devices. Lastly, if you don't get any answers through all of those channels and it's not an urgent issue, you can go into the Amber app and look for the option that says, notice something strange that will allow you to log an issue with us. And whilst we don't respond to every single thing that comes through in there, it helps us actually identify trends that might be affecting the broader fleet and more customers across SmartShift. If it is something that feels a little bit more urgent, you need to get in contact with us. You can email us at info at amber.com.au or if it's extremely urgent and you're without power or something like that, give us a call and we've got a team on hand to help out. So as a quick summary, number one, check the app for your inverter or your battery or your device. Number two, check our known issues tracker on our website. Number three, check for any available firmware updates. Number four, talk to your installer or directly with the manufacturer of your device. Number five, if it's non-urgent, log an issue via the Amber app. Or number six, get in contact with us if it's a little bit more urgent.